Hey, hey, it's Alex from uh, Blue Lightning Software. Um, <laughs> it's dramatic. This is what a debug felt like today. But no, no, it didn't take that long. Um, yeah, there's a few things to learn. Uh, there's a few things wrong. It, it didn't take too long. I was, I was a bit busy today. Anyway. But, um, yeah. I got, got to grips with the... Uh, <laughs> I just reminded me of something like that. Oh my, uh, stupid stuff. Um, there's a few bits and bobs um, that could be, be learned from, uh, I think, disposing. Even though these were temp jobs, I think you do need to dispose of the temp jobs. Uh, you know, allocated as temp jobs, everything was in this. But, you know, dispose those after they've been used. So you got the output. I guess it's the output timing. <clears throat> We've used the job output here. We fed it back in. And that's all done. You can see the debug statements. I wrote a few notes. There, these were things that Tim Job just explained that. Well, I, the weirdest bug in the world was not, um, not in the world, not the weirdest bug, but um, there was a bit actually in the original motor. The one thing in this, just don't, don't touch this motor, whatever you do, is really weird. Um, there's one bit in here, it wasn't the jobs, it was that I'd change something in here thinking it would work quicker. Um, I can't even find it now. It was like if solve grounding. Where was it? It would be an update phase two. The bit that happens after the jobs. Um, do you know what? I could do that inside the job and it might be, it won't make any difference really. Um, well, it might do, I don't know. Okay, if I was going to do anything extra, I'll put that into the job because it would fit. Um, yeah, this bit, base velocity. I'd, I'd put this in, not equal to it. This was throwing it. Yeah, that, that actually messed it up. Um, the fact that it looks like the same line. Okay, but base square magnitude is greater than zero. Maybe some close to zero approximate thing. I'm not sure, but... I put that back in it, it really fixed some, uh, you know, it, that was preventing it actually um, doing the grounding, which it went wrong for a minute. Um, what else? Um, stuff in here, the quaternion, okay. Um, I had all this stuff with the quaternion at the start. Um, when I was trying to do like the look rotations, what I did in the end, it was just um I had two things on the the character move. Can you see if I left them commented so I can see them? Forward and up. I stopped passing those in. I just passed in the quaternion of the current rotation. And that worked much better. Yeah, that, that totally fixed stuff. Um well <laughs> Actually, there wasn't much to fix. There wasn't anything really wrong. But that, that just came out cleaner uh, because I didn't have to create that quaternion back to itself by using a look of the forward. If that made a look rotation from forward. Well, it's just the current rotation. And then actually you can derive up from current rotation, which needed doing. I had to reset up also up is um, contingent on what happens there so if that current rotation changes so does up um, and, and then that up is used throughout <clears throat> using this get up function and the current rotation row um, instead of up and, and again here it's used twice now weirdly 
I started just using World Up because honestly, the, game, the way this game works, it kind of fixes you into World Up anyway. It fixes you so that you're always upright. Otherwise, to get what was used in the original was the Vector 3 um, a Quaternium uh, multiplied by up to get the vector up yeah the direction up the classic uh, multiply rotation by um, vector 3 up yeah which if you dig into and this is a jobified version of it burst I haven't even put this back in I removed this for debug because I was getting problems with the other stuff but that 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 is the C sharp code if you go and find a quaternion um, anywhere and, and you look at a quaternion um, that is the overload for multiply by vector 3 this is you know this is the unity code but it's in C sharp somehow this so I kind of copied that the multiplied by vector three point operator. Put that in the job. I haven't really tested that. Um, I'll just throw that in there. I made a bit float three. Wow, can you see what I messed up? Ooh, well spotted. Got to be a float three in. I mean, that would possibly automatically turn it to float three but anyway that, I just stopped using that let's be quicker anyway it's just for the ups they're just world ups really in this can have a static I started using the static for world up I think drag should be static um, okay so that was quaternion was passed in and just using current rotation clamp velocity the clamp was all wrong where did I do the clamp? Because I rushed that in when there wasn't a clamp magnitude. And I kind of tidied these up. I've punched these in a bit. These are a bit more one-liners. Um, they're just doing a very similar thing. But they're, they're, are they the ones? I can't even remember. There was like a, where clamp magnitude was used. yeah this right and it's actually a pattern that i've seen used elsewhere within this is by the original um rather than a clamp magnitude max length it's this max max length you find the uh, new total equals that if the max length of that is greater than the uh, thing you want to clamp it to do a normalized times that which made sense to me and I hope it works, but I think that's been used elsewhere. I saw them use something like that. Um, if, like an if statement rather than clamp magnitude, because it, it, clamp magnitude doesn't exist in burst, apparently. Well, I can't find it. So I don't think it does. I saw a forum where they say, no, it doesn't. So if is greater than that, then um, new total, um, you know, if the max, if it's greater than um, normalized times the float, it's so that you can clamp to a float with a float three. All right, so that was done. I think that's it. And uh, I kind of panicked when when I had that bug with the the vector three. There's two points actually. Rather than doing these equals, I went back to the old magnitude square magnitude the length square is greater than zero rather than equating to zero if that makes any sense um i'm not sure that might be slower just a tiny bit that i don't really mind i might test that back that was the equals which is now rather than equals uh, float three zero it's now on that it's now this it's greater than zero not equal to yeah. Um, what else was there? 
to get it to work these made it work if um, current velocity is this a lot of these functions okay the cross and the normalize are a lot less forgiving than the unity uh, main thread versions of math f for vectors vector 3 if you pass in zeros to some of these yeah or multiply it by zero in this case um actually the multiply by zero just meant that i didn't have to do it but that is testing basically if current velocity is zero don't do this yeah if I mean, although the velocity magnitude is then used in the, um, like the magnitude is, is then used in the function, not function, the, the formula. Um, I'm also, cause it's, it's there anyway, I'm using it to kind of test the current velocity. If current, if you're passing current velocity zero, so these crosses, it comes out with nans. That's what I think is going on, the, the math thematics uh, math library uh, these these if you pass in zeros you come out with nans which wasn't the case in the original vector 3 uh, math uh, f stuff okay so just just be careful of what's going into those there's another example of that somewhere where um and that was what threw it, that, that that broke it kind of thing um i can't find where the other one is um but yeah if, if um testing if that is greater than zero where's the other if greater than zero mm -hmm. <coughs> should be in the air movement probably it's not the clamp um blah, 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 blah. I don't know, but there's something very similar to this. So, like, don't don't pass zeros into this, so you get nans out. It's possibly just that one. Has move. I'm sure there's that is, but it's to do with oh, if has move, the has move ball came from this. That move is greater than zero. Yeah, again, that could possibly be an equals float three zero, but I went with these. The length square is greater than zero. Just, just I got freaked out by it not working in um, the main thread. So I mean, that could be like an equality thing that equals flow three zero. But um, doesn't matter. It has moved declared there because it's used in both. So only if has moved do all these crosses, which in the original I just threw them in. And you know some of this if you f you, you come out with. Uh, a nan n-a-n not a number so that was the other thing i think that's probably it it does work now it's great um i'm really chuffed i mean i'll show you it's running i'm not sure if anything else needs to do. i mean there's a couple of things um this loop, particularly the second one, the first loop, technically, if I did have uh, physics movers like moving floors, then it would go after that. Um, so I wouldn't put it in that loop. Yeah, but it's looping the character motors anyway. So you could put the, um, you could put this loop in, in there if you want to, because it's fine in the motor anyway. And the same with the second loop, you could put this into that loop, which you might do. That one totally makes sense. And then dispose these after there. Yeah. That's 100% possible. But yeah, no, it's great. It totally works now. Yeah. This is with the dots running. Practically all NPCs and players all use that uh, character controller code. So everything is now going through dots, uh, not dots, well, 
you know, burst compile job system. Just for that, that bit in the middle. So yeah, it's great. I can't, the only way I'm really going to be able to judge this, uh, the timing, this takes so long on the, um, it is working. It's just, um, this one, don't really show this much, the, on the home server, this development server, it's running a server and a client and everything else on my machine is all running on uh, one PC and it's painfully slow at loading scenes. You might have to take my word for it that it's all working now. But it's great, I'm, re I'm really chuffed with, um, with the way it's worked, but like I'm saying, the um, you won't. You won't be able to. I won't be able to um, calculate the effect on CPU or whatever until. Um, until I, I load it up to the production server or a test server and um, observe the CPU usage. That's where, probably, that's where hopefully it will show up. It was kind of the point of it is that um, I think there's enough there that jobs, I mean, the rest of it's impossible to, to you'd have to, convert to ECS and use the physics to really get the benefit of the full whammy. I, I don't know if this will even show up much, but it should, it should do, looking at the dot stuff. If there are enough of them, this stuff that it does every frame, uh, say there was a thousand NPCs and players within the game server at one point, then running all that stuff would definitely make a difference. You know, so these guys, even these uh, scorpion guys, are using that same character controller. They, they've got other stuff that makes them scorpion. The, the way they're moving and stuff, the animation. But um, yeah, all the NPCs use that controller. So it should have taken quite a lot of weight off it. You know, just multi-threading that bit every frame it's going through and uh, doing that now. Yeah, look, it's fine. I'm thinking of other stuff. I don't know what else, maybe, maybe the, um, um, things that don't use physics. I was going to say the, um, ranged weapons yeah i'll have to think about it because uh they they all use physics but where you can see that that separation so you're in a game object world that's my computer being slow if it ever gets glitchy Come on, God, where is he? um yeah and anything where you got clearly um sections of it with a load of vector math that uh, doesn't use physics in the middle of it. That, that looks like the kind of place that I'd be using it. So yeah, it's great. Can't wait. I'm probably, you know, I'm so confident now having done all the tests and stuff that this will probably get in production pretty quick. So I'll be able to report back kind of um, any any noticeable stuff on the CPU when I start overloading it. Yep. So anyway, yeah. Thanks for watching. That was a nice one. Thanks.